Welcome to Can You Please Just Listen, episode 13. We had to do the math and check the spreadsheet, but it is definitely 13. And we're excited. This means Animorphs episode. Bam! Because Jesse's odd. He's always odd. It's hurtful a little bit, but I appreciate it. Uh, we're still in the invasion. We're on chapter seven of the invasion. Do you remember where we ended? It's been two weeks since we recorded. Um, all I have in the back of my mind is that there's a creepy laugh. Is he in the house? I'm, he's in the house. He's in an abandoned house. I think I thought he ran away and killed the homeless guy indirectly. Oh, oh. yeah, the homeless guy. I believe R. he escaped, knew the, knew the laugh, and then's like, I hope the homeless guy's okay. But he didn't place the laugh yet. No, he just he knows it's related to school. It. That's all he knows. Which is super creepy. Like, I think intentional. Horror book, like, walking down the hallway and you hear one of the little, little children giggle. Maybe. I'm assuming it's like an act of school. Like, ha ha ha, you know, like Trevor. Oh, no, no, no. I, I know, I know. It's, it's, it's. Yeah. It's, You're, you think it's creepy in this abandoned home? The just, laughing. just abandoned laughs in general yeah. are not always. So you're afraid of laughter? Oh, I don't laugh. <laughs> She's never laughed, people. We're not going to start now. <laughs> um, before I forget, we're on the internet all over the place. Can you please listen? <laughs> It's a website, it's an Instagram, it's a Twitter, it's a TikTok. It's a, it's not a MySpace. Gmail. It's a Gmail. Can you please listen to gmail.com? And a website? It's a website. It's a website. It's, a website. it's very basic. It mostly just the podcast stuff and some links, which is all you need. You want to read? Yeah. Oh, I well, I'm going to listen. You read. I want to read. Let's go. <sighs> we really should start making up chapter names at oh. the end of the chapter. We should, I title like, every episode. Huh? Title every episode. Well, I know. I know. Okay. That's as good as I got. Okay. If you, you want to submit a title name, you can do that. No one's stopping you. You're allowed. Mm-hmm. Also, if you guys like how these episodes sound and look as great, that is all Jesse. Jesse. And if you don't like it, you're wrong. Jesse works tirelessly to get all these edited. No, <laughs> I'm very tired. It just keeps happening. <laughs> <laughs> as a funny joke i actually do enjoy it i'm learning new skills and all the little clips that you see and the little bloopers and the behind the scenes and the photos that we post on instagram and tiktok and all of our other various Mm. medias all jesse so i have a sickness if you have comments questions concerns tell me about it pieces of advice or places we can help our dogs are going ballistic it's okay Still getting over a cold, so my voice is a little wonky. The wonky donkey and myself are going to read a book to you now. Tinky Winky? <laughs> I'm, it's me, Tinky Winky, and the wonky donkey. Here we are, and can you please just listen? Chapter 7 of the Animorphs. <laughs> We're reasonably confident a homeless man just died. This book gets dark fast. Somehow, I made it home. I don't know how. I have no memories of anything after that last sight of the hork bajir I wish I had no memories of anything that happened that night. If only I could forget it all. Alcohol. He is in middle school or high school. Okay, don't drink alcohol until you're 21. Also, don't drink it to forget your problems. Yeah, don't do that either. <laughs> Go see therapy. Or if you're pregnant. I called around to the others. Everyone was shaky. But they were all alive. Rachel kept trying to apologize for leaving me. Marco just kept asking me if I was sure this wasn't a dream. I guess I should have had the worst nightmares of my life that night. But I didn't. The world of nightmares is a joke compared to my new reality. That's dark. Also, for some reason, I can't stop yawning, so I apologize. It's very exciting, very enthralling, dark, but... I can't stop yawning. Megan yawns through most of my reading. I don't know if you've noticed the theme if you're watching the videos. It's called I'm Tired and I'm Sorry. It's not (laughs) hurtful, but it's like a little bit hurtful. (laughs) By the next morning, a Saturday, I half believed it had been a nightmare. The only thing that seemed real, really real, 
was the way the Andalite was the way the Andalite had of smiling with his eyes. That was framed phrase very strange. Was it what? Was the way the Andalite had of smiling with his eyes. Weird. Why? That's confusing, right? I felt like I was having a stroke as I read it, but that's those are the order of the words. So he's just saying the Andalite smiled with his eyes and it was odd. Yeah. Okay. I woke when my mom started pounding on my door. Jake, are you awake in there? I was now. Um, yeah, I groaned. I'm up. Your friend Tobias is here. Tobias? What was Tobias doing here? It's me, Tobias' voice. Hi. Can I come in? No problem. I think Tobias is definitely, <laughs> the, definitely the problem. Um, sure. I sat up in my bed and blinked several times, trying to get my eyes unglued. The door opened, and I heard Tobias say thank you to my mom. Thanks, Mom. Are you crying and yawning? I, Do we need to take a break? I can't stop yawning. <laughs> Continue. Sorry. I don't know if you can see the video quality. Oh, you definitely can. Megan is bawling <laughs> while she's yawning. I have some tears working up in my eyes. And we're not even in page, we're not even done no. with page one yet. <laughs> Again, nothing against the book. Far. <laughs> nothing against the book, nothing against, oh no, nothing against Jesse reading. It's just, we're in a darkish room, I'm comfortable, it's relaxed, and for some so reason she's... I can't stop yawning. So she's crying, do you need tissues? No, I'm okay. okay. Alright, this is a good episode, it's a good one. Alright, um, Tobias <laughs> said thank you to my mom. <laughs> he was glowing, I swear, he was glowing. Not like he was radioactive or anything, which they actually might be. Who knows? I don't mean that. It's just that his eyes were shining bright. Was and that it, from saying hi to his mom or from visiting? I have we'll a feeling out. it's about magical powers, man, okay. if I have to guess. His eyes were shining bright and his face was one big grin. And he seemed to be tingling with energy, bouncing like he couldn't stand still. I did it, Tobias said. Oh. I tried to get my hair to go in one direction by raking my fingers through it. What are you talking about? He transformed. I hope so. I was yawning when he answered. I became dude. I stopped yawning. <laughs> my mouth actually snapped shut. Dude is Tobias's cat. <laughs> huh? Tobias glanced around like there might be spies in the room. I became dude, just like the Andalite said. He again said you just had to touch. That is what he said. He said you could touch animal. it. Uh huh. And then once you touch it once, do you always have that ability? Yes. We haven't confirmed that, but I'm telling you, yes. Okay. It's like a library almost. Okay. Or like the Matrix when he learns Kung Fu. Or the Kingsman with the invisible lady. I don't remember that part, that but I not think the it was. Research nope. for you guys. That was another another movie I watched. Never mind. <laughs> Invisible people. I just stared. It was so amazing. I'm going to do a little bit of a surfer bro for Tobias. I'm feeling loose. Yep. It didn't hurt or anything. I was petting him and thinking about the whole thing last night, right? So I thought, why not give it a try? <laughs> he was pacing back and forth, snapping his fingers, bursting with enthusiasm. Very unlike Tobias. I didn't even know how to begin, so I just made sure the door to my room was locked. Fortunately, Mongol was still asleep. Tobias has the most screwed up family I know. Oh, Jake. Mean. He never knew who his father was, and his mom just decided to leave him a few years ago. Oh. This book is really sad in hindsight. I don't remember how sad this stuff was last time I read yeah. it when I was 12. All right, so Tobias Sometimes is... you just glaze over when you're young because you, you're resilient and doesn't don't want to believe it. hit you as hard. Me or Tobias? Uh, youngins. Got it. Since then, he'd been shuttled back and forth between his uncle here and his aunt who lives on the other coast. Ooh, they're on a coast. Information. His aunt and his uncle can't stand each other, and it's like Tobias is some burden they have to shove off on the other. I get the feeling neither of them cares about Tobias. So I'm assuming aunt and uncle are not married aunt and uncle. We have no idea. They're probably like 
your mother's brother and your mother's yeah. sister. I'm hoping none, rel- just aunt, 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 uncle. Not like a formerly married couple because that's way darker. Yeah, okay. Based on Tobias's backstory, it's probably the sad one. Yeah. Sorry, Tobias. So, there I was, just sitting on my bed, thinking about it, concentrating. <laughs> Think- Noggin. <laughs> dude. That's what I'm channeling. <laughs> Think about becoming dude. I looked down at my hand. He grinned at me. Do you, what do you think I saw, Jake? Do you hear whining dogs in the background? <laughs> we don't, so if you do, please go get your hearing checked. Oh no. I shook my head slowly. I don't know. I had fur, Jake. And I was growing claws. You should have seen the real dude. He went nuts. I think you nailed the voice on Tobias. Thank you. It feels right. I never imagined his voice growing up. Now I'm like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> he went nuts. I had to put him outside before I could morph all the way. He clawed me up pretty good. Tobias stuck a sliced finger into his mouth. I swallowed hard. Okay, this is definitely crazy now. Um, Tobias, is it possible maybe you dreamed all this? Not a dream. He said. I don't like the voice because it's killing you too much. It's also watching your oh, my face whole, I, and I your mouth as <laughs> you're, you're just so relaxed. like, no, no. I can't do the voice as a new face. Dream. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> watermelon, watermelon. I don't want you to overthink it now, but it's no, enjoyable watching you do this. <laughs> Not a dream, he said. Now he was serious to buy us again. The grin was gone. It's all true, Jake. All of it. His eyes met mine. I knew what he was saying. He had tried to pretend it was all a nightmare, too. But it was real. I looked away. I didn't want to start believing it had all been real. I wanted it safely stored away in my head. Just another bad dream. Bad dreams should stay in your head, not come jumping out into real life. I just kept concentrating on changing, Tobias said, and then in a few minutes I was, uh, not myself anymore. (laughs) His eyes bored in on me. Yeah. You have no idea what it's like, Jake. Being a cat, it's, uh, I can't even describe it. You're so strong, for one thing. Just all this coiled power and the way you can move. You know what I did? I jumped onto my dresser. So so he started to morph. Mm-hmm. His cat attacked him. Yep. Put the cat outside. Dude. Went back into his room, locked the door, and then fully morphed. Yeah. So he was like okay. mid-morph, like furry paw on a claw. I was like, oh no. Furry paw on a claw. I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I guess so I guess you can morph over a sort of time, I guess. I sort of control the speed of it. It's not like a snap, it's a sort of thing. You know what I mean. <laughs> All right. Three feet straight up into the air. And I landed like a feather. Three feet. You know how high it is when you're a cat? It's like a person jumping maybe 30 feet straight up. He stopped suddenly and looked at me. You don't believe me, do you? He said. So you do it? Look, do Tobias. It. It's just that sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between something real and and something you're just imagining or dreaming. Is, is that a thing? This is very much like the Santa Claus conversation. Oh, like, the you seeing do it? Is, isn't believing. <laughs> believing is seeing. Sometimes yeah. you don't have to see it. You just know it's there. Faith. Yeah. Thanks, Judy. You think I'm crazy? I considered it for a minute. I don't know, Tobias, but let's review the facts. You say you turned into your own pet cat turned into an actual cat. Yes, I have to say that sounds crazy to me. Tobias nodded thoughtfully, gave a little smile. I understand, Jake. You still don't want it to be true. What? You mean I don't want to believe that you can change yourself into a cat and all the rest of it? Do I want to believe that Earth is being invaded by slimy slugs who live in people's brains and turn them into slaves? 
Do I want to believe that? That, duh, no. I don't want to believe any of it. Jake's monologues are getting serious. And how about the Andalite? It's the wrong voice. I'm sorry, guys. And how about the Andalite? He asked in a quiet voice. I hesitated. I don't know why, but I didn't just want to pretend the Andalite away. It was cool. Yeah, because he died and he was sad. And he, and he didn't smiles he, with his eyes. Didn't he send his death to their like brains when he died too? Like some horrifying courage, bravery. Thought at the end they felt him die. Oh, maybe that too. Like a lot of intimate There's emotions. A lot of teeth. Oh yeah, the bog monster or whatever. Tobias put his hand on my arm. Stand right there. Exactly. Exactly. You're Tobias right now. Oh no. What? What are you gonna do? I'm going to help you decide whether it's real or not. It's turned into a cat. Tobias. <laughs> turning into a cat, I think you're right. Just wait. And don't scream or anything. So I waited. For a few seconds, uh, nothing happened. Tobias just stood there. I glanced at his face, his eyes. His eyes uh, were different. The pupils weren't completely round anymore. I swear there is a reflective greenish light in them, and his mouth was protruding a little, puffing out, like a cat. Um, he was shrinking, growing smaller right before my eyes. The neck of his shirt was loose, his pants started scrunching up at the ankles, he was shriveling, and at the same time, fur, there you go, perfect, yes fur began to grow on his hands and neck and face. It was gray, striped with black. Just like dudes. Pond claw. Pond claw. Pond claw. Hello, Dino. I'm more from to you, dude. I had this absurd desire to start giggling. <laughs> <laughs> Tobias was becoming a tabby cat. But I knew if I started giggling, I'd just keep going on and on and never, ever be able to stop. This isn't going to crying, which usually happens with me. <laughs> uh, crying and crying and never be able to stop. Hysterically laughing, hysterically crying, you know. Sure do. Sure do. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so Tobias was more cat than human now. The pointed ears rose atop his head. Thank you. Appreciate it. The whiskers stuck straight out from beneath his delicate pink nose. Excellent. He had dropped to all fours, clothing now half draped over him like so many rags. And his tail that. twitched. Yes. His tail. Bah, there we go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we need one, one of the dogs to appear at the <laughs> yeah. tail of the shot. I wondered if I would just drop dead from the lump that had filled in my throat, or from the jackhammer pounding of my heart. Then I wondered, but I was still asleep. But if it was a dream, it was a really convincing one. I was standing there in my bedroom, staring down at a black gray cat less than two minutes earlier that had been my friend, Tobias. <laughs> Ooh, question. So yeah, hit me with it. That's in the chapter. So, Tobias touched dude. Check. His cat. And was got the ability to turn mm -hmm. into a cat. Yep. When Tobias turns into a cat, mm -hmm. if Jake touches Tobias, who is now a cat, does he have the ability to turn into a cat? I have no idea. Or does he have to touch an original source? I believe it's original source. I don't think you can... As I remember, they don't at any point in the book like do like a chain reaction morph thing. Yeah. I think is. I don't know if it's ever addressed, but I think it's just for more fun that way. So you have to like sneak and find the animal. Like Pokemon Go. Like a lot like Pokemon Go. <laughs> Only instead of capturing them like slaves, you become them. Which is, I think I think it's better. Because it's a carbon copy because it's that animal too. So he's exactly dude. He's, okay. not, he's not a tabby cat, he's that he's tabby dude. cat. Yeah, okay. it's a DNA copy. Okay. So that's... uh. That's uh, it's morphing Dude. stuff. That's Tobias. So we got a new voice today, which I hope I remember. I should, I should probably have a little note card. 
<laughs> We're going to make a note card. Cue cards in the back. <laughs> oh, that'd be good. I'm going to need cue cards. Mind reader. Husky voice. Yeah. Surfer dude. Yeah. Dude. Um, Finding Nemo. Noggin. Deed. Thank you very much for participating in this experience um, that we have crafted for you today. Uh, artisanal podcast, video cast moment. Artisanal. This is artisanal, man. This is one of a kind. I can't just get these. This is a moment in time. We were crying at the beginning. Um, well, you we had were a leaky eye. That's what crying is. A leaky eye. That is true. And then we talked about cats. That was pretty good. Uh, we had dogs barking. That was pretty good. I think that's it. Can't top it. Um, thank you so much. Um, we're on the internet, as discussed earlier. Can you listen? Put it into a search bar, whichever one you're closest to, and see if we come up. Yeah. But just do it right now. Any search bar. Please. Thank you. Bye. See you next week. Maybe. <laughs>